Evolution of the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, 1991. A handsome young prince lives in a luxurious castle in France. He has everything he ever wanted, and as a result he is spoiled, selfish, and unkind. One night his heart is put to the test when a beggar woman comes to the castle and asks for shelter from the freezing cold, with a single rose as payment. When he shuns the beggar for her repulsive appearance, she then reveals her true form as a beautiful enchantress. Seeing her beauty and realizing her power, the prince tries to apologize but she transforms him into a terrifying beast, like creature, for his arrogance as punishment. As the enchanted rose reaches late bloom and slowly wilts, the first outsider is an old man named Maurice who accidentally stumbles upon the castle, being allowed inside by the servants for shelter. However, the beast detains Maurice in the tower as a prisoner for trespassing. Maurice's horse returns to the village, and then takes Maurice's daughter Belle back to the castle. In the tower Belle confronts Beast and pleads with him to let her father go, offering herself as a prisoner instead, to which the Beast agrees in return for her promise never to leave. Being prodded by his servants into believing that she is the key to breaking the spell, the Beast shows flashes of compassion for the first time, despite his overall gruff manner. Aladdin, 1992. The Beast makes a cameo appearance as one of the Sultan's toys. 64th Academy Awards, 1992. Beast made an animated live-action appearance alongside Belle and Chip at the 64th Academy Awards ceremony, where they awarded Daniel Greaves the Oscar for short film, Animated, for manipulation. Disney's sing-along songs, The Twelve Days of Christmas, 1993. The Beast and Belle can be seen dancing with each other amongst other Disney characters and Christmas carolers. Beauty and the Beast on Broadway, 1994. In the Disney stage musical 1994, The Beast appears played by Terrence Mann. Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, 1997. Much to the Beast's frustration, Belle wants to celebrate Christmas and throw a real Christmas party. The Beast hates the idea of Christmas, for it was the very day when the Enchantress cast the spell on him and the entire castle ten years ago. He also was ungrateful for his gift that day, a storybook. For this reason, the Beast has forbidden Christmas, just to keep history from repeating itself. While the Beast sits most of the preparations out, a treacherous servant plot to have Belle thrown out of the castle. Forte the pipe organ, since he is far more appreciated by the Beast while under the spell. Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World, 1998. In the first part, The Perfect Word, Beast and Belle have a bitter falling out at dinner when the Beast demands that Cogsworth open the windows to cool him down, despite the fact that he is the only one hot and there is a cold wind, and angrily strikes his servant Webster, a long-tongued dictionary. Despite Lumiere and Cogsworth's pleas, Beast refuses to apologize for his behavior, until Webster Crane and Laplume forge a letter of apology from the Beast to Belle. All is settled, until the Beast realizes that it was a forgery. He furiously banishes Webster, Crane, and Laplume from the castle, but Belle brings them back from the woods, and the Beast soon learns to forgive them, as their intentions were good. Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowed in at the House of Mouse, 2001. The Beast and Belle appear during the finale song. House of Mouse, 2001. In the episode, Max's Embarrassing Date, the Beast was seen having affairs with Cruella de Vil. In Rent Day, the Beast was seen when he offers Mickey the enchanted rose to give to Aladdin for Jasmine if Mickey manages to find a book for Belle. Lilo and Stitch, 2002. Here, the Beast and Belle are having their famous ballroom dance until Stitch appears above on the chandelier, unintentionally causing it to fall to the ground. Though the Beast manages to save Belle, he is left looking confused as an enraged Belle storm off to her room after Stitch ruined their dance. Mickey's House of Villains, 2002. The Beast appears, where Donald Duck tries to scare him, only to be scared away himself, when the Beast responds with an annoyed roar. The Lion King 1 and a half, 2004. The Beast made a cameo appearance at the end in the form of a silhouette alongside Belle, Mrs. Potts, Chip, and other Disney characters. Saturday Night Live, You Think I'm the Beast, 2009. Gerard Butler plays the Beast, where he and the beauty realize beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Once Upon a Time, 2011. The role of the Beast in Once Upon a Time, rather than being a prince who is cursed, is actually Rumpelstiltskin, Robert Carlyle. He had gained Belle, Emily de Raven, in a trade for saving her kingdom from an army of ogres who were invading. Originally having intended her to be his servant, while living in his castle, the two form a bond similar to that of the original fairy tale. Their bond would only grow stronger when Belle would speak with the man about the son whom he lost. 
However, unlike the original fairy tale and animated Disney classic, the two do not end up together due to an argument. But despite going their separate ways, he still holds strong feelings for her, keeping a special chipped teacup as a reminder of her. Sophia the First, 2013. The Beast is mentioned by Bell while singing to Sophia in the episode The Amulet and the Anthem, and is shown in a clip from the song Human Again. Mickey Mouse, 2014. The Beast makes a cameo appearance along with Belle in the episode The Adorable Couple, where Donald Duck accidentally bumps into them while dancing, angering the Beast and prompting him to beat up the duck. Descendants, 2015. The Beast appears in the Disney Channel original movie. Here, he and Belle are the rulers of Oridon, a modern-day kingdom inhabited by various Disney characters, and the parents of a young prince named Ben. He is played by Dan Payne. At the beginning of the story, his son decides to allow the children of some of the worst villains, namely Maleficent, the evil queen, Jafar, and Cruella de Vil, to be transferred from the Isle of the Lost to Oridon. King Beast is initially furious with the idea, but Ben convinces him that the sins of the parents should not be passed on to their children as well. As told by Emoji, 2016. An emoticon version of the Beast, as well as the Prince, appears in the Beauty and the Beast entry of the short series. Beauty and the Beast 2017. The Beast appears in the 2017 live action remake, played by Dan Stevens. The Beast was portrayed with a more traditional motion capture puppeteering for the body and the physical orientation, where Stevens was in a 40 pound gray suit on stilts for much of the movie. Unlike the original movie, the Beast is shown to have a more leonine like appearance with ram like horns on his head. The live action portrayal closely follows the animated version, but with some differences. Unlike the original 1991 version where his bad nature is not explained, the 2017 version expands a backstory which reveals that the prince was a good-natured person whose mother the queen died of an illness when he was a boy, leaving his cruel, vain, self-centered, and arrogant father the king to raise him. The harsh upbringing caused his cruel nature, and he taxed the villagers of his kingdom unjustly. Descendants 2, 2017. The Beast makes an appearance at the Royal Cotillion along with Belle. Ralph Breaks the Internet, 2018. Bell's tank top features stylized black silhouette artwork of the Beast's head that reads BFF, meaning Beast Friends Forever. Descendants 3, 2019. Audrey turns Ben, the Beast's sons, into a beast after he rejected her again. A beast like Ben attacks the boys when they catch up to him, but Carlos manages to calm him down and help him remove a thorn stuck in his palm, which was the reason he was in a flying rage. Jane manages to reverse some of the magic by spraying him with water from the enchanted lake, making him mostly human again, sans a beard and two fangs. Robot Chicken, 2019. In the episode Join Me for Dinner, the figure for the Beast is based on the Disney Store Beast doll, but different clothes and darker detail. At Home with Olaf, 2020. The Beast and Belle appears during a montage of heartwarming moments from Disney movies, playing an Olaf song, I Am With You. Descendants, The Royal Wedding, 2021. In the Disney animated television special series, The Beast appears voiced by Dan Payne. The Simpsons in Plusaversary, 2021. During the credits, The Beast was seen playing snooker using Pinocchio's nose as the snooker cue. Beauty and the Beast, a 30th celebration, 2021. The Beast appears played by Josh Groban and together with Belle, Cogsworth, Lumiere, Chip and Mrs. Potts perform in Something There. Saturday Night Live, The Mirror, 2022. The Beast appears played by Pete Davidson, where an enchanted mirror in his castle allows Belle, Chloe Feynman, to see her father, Willem Dafoe, whenever she wants. The Wonderful World of Mickey Mouse, 2022. In the episode, Keep on Rolling, the Beast attacks with a roar towards Mickey and his friends, forcing them to flee. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, 2022. A pirated version of the Beast appears on a cover of Beauty and the Cursed Dog Man. Its appearance, as suggested, is a dog-like creature, only it doesn't have horns like in the original movie.